Hey everybody, Daniel here from Basement Tech. Well, I hope this is going to be a really short video to share some excitement I have over this um, super interesting test setup. I picked up this GPS module, this U-Blocks GPS module, at the Dayton Hamvention. You saw that in my Dayton Hamvention um, video. Um, I think I paid $10. Whatever I said in that video is what I paid for it. But it's kind of a truly remarkable device. I saw in many videos on the web that um, intrepid uh, basement techers use this to produce a frequency reference to either calibrate or just confirm the uh, accuracy or calibration of their basement instrumentation. So I thought I'd give that a whirl just to see what happens. So um, what I have here in this like really weird quickly put together setup is this module here and I just have an antenna, a GPS antenna sitting up in that windowsill and it picks up enough satellites to get a lock. Um, the manufacturer, U-Blocks, of this uh, device provides um, an app where you can just see the data coming off and it comes off via USB. You see that at the bottom. It comes off via USB and if I zoom around over here, you can see that app. Um, not only does it allow you to see the data and see the lock, you can see here on the right, it's all locked in, um, but they allow you to change the output of one of the pins on the device. The, the pin is called PPS, pulse per second, but you can change it to any, any sort of time base that you want that's of interest. And I happen to set it to one megahertz as you can see here on the UI it goes up to 10 megahertz um, and what I'm kind of amazed by is I saw this behavior in the videos on the web but um, I was able to just really easily replicate it here I found a really good video that talked about how to configure the frequency that you want to come out and that was very helpful and so I just programmed it. And what I showed you at the beginning was the um, one megahertz uh, being fed into my uh, HP universal counter. You can see it's pretty darn accurate. Now I have this cranked up to the slowest sample time. So that gives maximum number of digits here. And what I'm seeing replicated here is the behavior that many people talked about on the web where as the satellites feed data to the GPS, it just gets more and more and more accurate. When I first started it, it was 999.9994. And over the last, say, 30 minutes, it's creeping up toward exactly one megahertz. So I'm thrilled, A, that my HP Universal counter that I picked up at a ham fest is still pretty darn well calibrated, but that this little $10 device can provide me with such an accurate uh, time base for just use um, in you know my basement tech uh, measurements and experiments so there you have it um, if you see these videos claiming this kind of behavior I'm going to claim it's true so there you go anyway a short video just to highlight this really super fun um, super fun uh, frequency reference that I'm able to have here now in the uh, basement tech lab if you have experience with these things, please provide that experience in the comments below. I love when people share their experiences and um, help me answer questions that um, viewers of these videos have. If you like these kind of videos, give it a thumbs up. If you really, really like it, uh, please subscribe. Thanks.